Conventionally, what constitutes healthy food? Well, vegetables, fruit, fibre, beans, just a little red meat, but not too much. I mean, we all know those wonderful blogs with great followings that have recipes full of steamed and raw food with lots of beans and lentils and some rare foods that look fabulous on a plate. Well, yes, those are healthy foods for a section of the population, but for the segment of the population with IBS, they are not healthy. They hurt us. Beans cause us terrible pain. Lentils can only be tolerated in small amounts. Vegetables have us running for the toilet. And fruit with too high a fructose level are just definitely not our friends. I mean, too much fibre irritates our gut and does exactly the opposite of what it's supposed to. On the other hand, red meat is something we can tolerate and it doesn't hurt us. Isn't that a crazy mixed up world? Well, it's the world of the IBS sufferer. And we've all got a similar story of trying to eat healthily in order to get well. And we had no idea that it was that mission to eat healthy that was actually making us sicker. I can't tell you how many doctors I've been to who have told me to eat more fruit and more vegetables and have given me a fibre supplement. They thought that they were helping and giving healthy advice. They just didn't know any better. But now there's scientific evidence that those foods actually do hurt us. And yet still they're giving the same advice. But that is changing slowly. It's a little bit too slowly for some people. I recently had an 83-year-old woman on one of my coaching programs for learning how to use the FODMAP diet. 83 years of suffering of being told to eat more fruit and vegetables and fibre. And the first relief that she found was when she tried the low FODMAP diet on my program. So at least she's had some relief. Now, unfortunately, her heart is failing. What a shame. It takes a real mind shift for many with IBS to understand that those healthy foods are not healthy for us, that they have to eliminate some of those foods and limit others, that we can control our IBS, but only by taking what is conventionally understood and turning it on its head. Now, if you're needing any help with that, perhaps my coaching program can give you the knowledge and support you need to master it. Take the first step by filling in the application form at the link on the screen and then I'll give you a call to discuss your issues and whether the program would be suitable for you. If you've liked this video, please subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified when I make another one. Until next time, goodbye. Yeah, yeah.